to do it the easy way. Is it working? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's try to do it the easy way. There are a lot of posts outside there. Uh, the last hour is about the Brexit. And the, most po the posts with the most awareness are video posts. And if, as you probably know, YouTube is, since years, the, the second largest search engine um, in the world. So after Google and YouTube, long time comes nothing, and then there is uh, Bing, Yahoo, and so on. So when you are doing a really good website for yourself or for your, for your uh, customers, or you blog, you need to do videos too. The same content, the same stories, but in the way of moving pictures, to tell the story, that's quite important. But how can you do that? Because normally, you know, it's a lot of design work, it's a lot of editing, cutting, it, this means it's expensive and it takes time to do it. How to block in short time, but uh, at the same time receive a really good quality video to post and to showcase to your customers. The most easy way you all can do is using your smartphones. Who has a smartphone in here? Who is this? Yeah, okay, you see? You have, you have a small camera in your pocket. I started video business, we are still producing videos for big brands, uh, and uh, I started video business when there was no digital way to edit. If it was 20, 25 years ago, if you, if you told me there that it will be possible that everybody has a small camera in the pocket, I would never, I would never believe that. Now we have it, you have your own camera, and if you, for example, using a new one, it's really a new smartphone, it's really high quality, it's HD, uh, 4K quality. There are simple rules, coming right out of my 20 year business in video production, that you have to follow that you really get good quality videos right out of your smartphone. Simple rules, nothing special, just for example, use a tripod. That's really, really important then you get stable pictures. Of course, there are a lot of software and programs and apps that are uh, stabling the picture if you're a little bit shaky, but this is always a little bit reducing the quality too, so use a tripod, that's the first thing. Use, as, as it is possible, an external microphone. Quite simple, quite easy, it's cheap. We have external microphones for about 50 euros, um, I, can show, I can send you links uh, about, about the equipment. You can plug it in every kind of device and you can record with it and have really great sound even here in these halls where you have a lot of echo, for example. It's important to use an external microphone as soon as the sound is important. That's quite, quite interesting, okay? And then one last rule I want to tell you, and you see it's quite simple, it's only three rules. Never, please never record against the sun. Always, always with the sun in your neck, or maybe you have a lightning, for example, then you use this if you are recording tonight, and then you have a good quality, because the quality of the picture is important, the quality of the sound is, of the sound is maybe much more important than the quality of the pitch picture. That's also really a simple rule, but uh, if you re record somebody sitting there in his office and behind him is the window, he will be black, probably, uh, Okay, you, if, you have, if you have uh, professional equipment, it's, it's easy to, to, to lightning, to, to, to bring some, some light in there in the scene, but it's expensive, of course. You need two or three different equipment parts. You need maybe two or three people helping you. Makes no sense, never record against the sun. So three simple rules. I think everybody of you inside here can do them, and then you have really good quality recordings. But the recording itself is not everything. You have to produce them. It's quite, quite interesting or qu quite important. If you want to present them, it's the same with your blog. You type in some text or whatever, pictures, and then they are produced thanks to the themes in WordPress in a really good quality, in a, in a, in a, in a designed environment in your corporate layout. You need to do the same with the, with the video. There are a, there's a lot of software outside there you can use to create your video. There's iMovie for free, there's Final Cut, there's Windows Media Producer. Uh, there's even the YouTube creator, for example. A lot of software, everybody has its own fable you can use to create your video. I will say something about the story, to storyboard the video later on. Um, due to my experience to, from the last 20 years, we developed a plugin that makes it even easier for you to create the videos or to post-product the video, to bring your layout into the video. And 
What we did is we created a plugin for you based on a, on a system we are using since four years now for uh, the, the brands, where you can upload your videos. You will just record it with any device, doesn't matter. It can, it can be any device, every codec is known. You upload the video. You can trim the videos. And you can upload your logo. You can upload titles, captions. And then you can choose, like you're used to with WordPress, you can choose the themes. We call them the video templates. Yeah? It's quite simple, just five steps. You click, you click through them. And then you press publish, and then happens it happens that it's rendering the video out of your material just uploaded and the CEO or, or, or let's say the theme you've chosen. Afterwards, you get back a file in whatever format you want to have. And this file you can download, you can use offline, you can use in your blog, and you can use on YouTube, you can even export automatically. And you can use it on other platforms like, let's say, uh, Vimeo or whatever uh, platforms are there. So it's quite, quite interesting. This is the easiest way to post-produce the video if you do not want to learn how is, uh, let's say, Final Cut working, how can I do After Effects, and so on. But this is the production process. So it doesn't matter what way you go. You can use your smartphone or you can buy a Digicam. It's up to the budget you have. You can use our plugin or you can use iMovie or, or things like that. It, it's completely up to you. But the most important thing about producing online videos are, again, some simple rules you have to follow. Online videos are consumed a little bit different than videos like I was used to uh, in former times, when people were forced to watching them. It's not like that, like, like that anymore, because now people go through YouTube, for example, and they click and they click. And if somebody who is online, for example, on YouTube, does not know in between 15 seconds what this video is about, he will leave your video. Doesn't matter if it's a good one or not. So you have to show up in between the first, let's say, 20 seconds, what exactly is my video about. You can do this with a title, you can do this by a headshot, like somebody telling about it. Yeah. Um, this is completely up to you, but you have to do it. And uh, please forget about making videos that are 10 minutes, 7 minutes, 5 minutes long. That's okay if it's, a, if it's a speech. Like we have it here, WordPress TV is here. They are doing speeches, they're recording speeches. Of course, people are interested in the whole speech. This is, this is something different. But if you want especially communicate your blog, for example, your blog post, your, your, your topic, then make it really short, make it simple for them. Um, and another important stuff about videos is that you should include a kind of call to action. Videos are not longer the, like, like TV. You consume it, you just sit there and it's, it's running and you do nothing. People interact with the videos. They can be interactive. Ask them th something to do. The, the best uh, example for that is if you publish your video on YouTube, there's always the possibility, if you have your own channel there, for example, you do in regular videos, there is the possibility to press a button that says, I want to follow this channel. It's like the fan page uh, in, in Facebook where you can, where you can have fans, or uh, the followers on, on Twitter. You can gain people there to follow your video channel. In the video, it would be nice if you would say, hey, guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please press the button up there and get, uh, get more about my, my, up, my upcoming videos in the future. So, Put some call to action into your video, into your recording, whatever it is. And um, another thing that's quite important is that these are topics you already take care of when you are storyboarding the video. Um, and there are a lot of different chances. There is, there are a lot of, there's always a story behind, and you have, you have different chances to, to tell the story. So if you have questions, come, just come uh, to us and I'm happy to answer. And hopefully I was able to give you a little bit an idea how you can produce videos in an easy way. Thank you very much indeed, Florian. Um,